So here's a quick introduction to activity three. We have a truss, like ones we've drawn out, we've seen before. This is the double how truss. And we want to figure out all of these angles and lengths, all right? So um, we're told on the part that's cut off that we have a slope of 7 twelfths, or a pitch, we should say, of 7 twelfths. That means for every 12 inches we go over, we go up 7 inches. Or if we go over 12 feet, we go up 12, uh, 7 feet. Okay? So we want to figure out uh, what each of these lengths are here. Okay? Uh, and so we're going to figure out the lengths and we're going to figure out uh, the angles. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate the angle here. Well, we want to know what this angle is here, because this angle is going to be the same as this guy right over here. Okay, so those two angles are the same. So that we have a rise of 7 for a run of 12. And remember, if this is angle A, that the tangent of angle A is 7 twelfths. And so if we want to solve for the angle, we can say that this is the inverse tangent of 7 twelfths. All right? So... Uh, that will give us the angle. I'll let you calculate that. That shouldn't be hard. That'll tell you how many degrees that is. Well, this triangle is a right triangle, so once we know what this guy is, uh, then we, we can subtract. These two have to add the 90, so we can find out what this is. Okay? Uh, there's some symmetry going on, like this is an isosceles triangle. So whatever length this is, this one's going to be. Okay, so we can find this angle, and that angle is going to be the same. These two angles up top are going to be the same. These guys here are, are both going to be 90 degrees, so on and so forth. Okay, and to help us see this a little better, we'll go to the next page here, and we've got it kind of all broken out, and you can see what we're going to do. So here is one half of the picture for us, one half of the truss. Okay, we, and the other half is the same. So we need to find all these lengths and all these angles, all right? And so uh, we already kind of said that the, let's go here. We, we said that the uh, tangent, the inverse tangent of 7 twelfths is going to be the measure of angle 1. Let me write it like this, okay? Let you go to figure out what that is, okay? And so that should be the first thing we find there. And then subtract from 90, and you got angle 4. Okay. Uh, again, the, these are an isosceles triangle, so these two angles will be the same. 9 and 1 are going to be the same. Okay. Now, once you know 9, 9 and 10 have to add up to 90, right? So subtract whatever angle 9 is. Uh, I, I don't think it is, but let, let's just say this is 40 degrees. Well, if that's 40 degrees, this would have to be 50. Okay. Again, I don't think that's really true. You're going to go find out what it is, but I need you to find all the angles there, okay? Uh, now, what about the lengths? So on the first page, we we're told that the whole thing, the whole truss is 522 inches, if you convert it into inches. The whole thing's 522 inches, so cut that in half, and we know this guy, we'll see, half of 522, that's 250 and 11, how about 261? So this guy's going to be 261 inches. And if we divide that by 3, we'll get these B, C, and D. Let's see. 3 times 80 is 240 and 21. So that's, what, 87? Double check that. But I think that's 87 inches. I don't know. You better double check it. Okay. Well, we found out this angle. Or did we? Did you find it yet? Inverse tangent of 7 twelfths. You should find out that this is 30.26 degrees. Okay. So now that we know this guy's 87, we should be able to find each of these. We can find K and we can find G. All right. Well, K, we can use tangent. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we can say tangent of 30.26 is K over 87. Remember that? Now all we need to do is multiply both sides by 87, and you can solve for K. I'll let you do that. And then what if I want to find G? 
Well, if we want to find G, this is the, this is the, uh, what is this? The adjacent to angle one, and this is the hypotenuse. Adjacent and hypotenuse, well, that's cosine. So we can say the cosine of 30.26 is 87 over G. Okay, now be careful here, you're gonna to have to cross multiply. Okay, you're gonna get an answer bigger than 87. But when you get that answer, well, this is gonna be the same. So you can use symmetry, J and G are gonna be the same. Okay, so, all right, well, that should hopefully be enough to go on there. Why don't you continue from there, all right? This guy, these are all 87, 87, so on and so forth, okay? So things we know is that these are going to be the same. That's symmetrical there. Um, G, F, and E are all going to be the same. It's going to be split into thirds, okay? That's the way that the truss is built. But you're going to need to compute the rest of these, all right? Uh, and so be careful. Uh, these guys are not, none of these are 90 degrees, 11, 7, and 2. So, anyways, careful there. So, one after the other, label as you go, label them right in the drawing, and hopefully we can get all of these, all right? So, work together, use that trigonometry over and over again, make sure you show your work so you can keep your head on straight. All right, work hard, stay focused, don't give up.